Today we're going to be talking a little bit about this little taskbar thing down here. Someone had asked about how to get rid of this volume control icon. If there's a way to do it, you can usually click on some of these other things like this is my Dropbox folder and you could click on that and say no I don't want this here. You know, It lets you shut it off or remove it from the taskbar if you want just by clicking the little gear icon. But what if you wanted to use this space for something other than this little volume control icon. How would you turn off this volume control icon in say Windows 7 or Windows 8? Well it's actually very simple but it's not very obvious which it should be. If you click on the little arrow next to the toolbar here and you just click on this customize link you're going to get this option and it's going to pop up here and tell you well yeah would you like to show your network information would you like to see your action center and you can actually say I don't want to show it I only want to show notifications so you can choose any of these and let's just say we did not want to show the volume icon because we have the ability to turn that up or down just from a keyboard so you could say hide the icon and the notifications and you can see it goes away right away and if you want to bring it back you just click here and then you get your volume control back again it's very simple um, very easy to understand why you might want this or might not want this and that's just a quick tip today Hopefully this has been helpful for you. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel right here on the page. And you can also visit me online at striveforimpact.com. My name is Jonathan Kraft, and I strive to have a positive, meaningful impact on every life I encounter, including yours, because you've just watched this video. Thank you very much, and come visit me online. Ask any question. I'll be happy to help in any way I can. Thank you.